if a club like Chelsea, who were glamorous at that point in time, as well as being glamorous now, show an interest, you, you know, it's going to be meaningful to you. It just seemed like the right thing to do, and I, and I love playing it. What's very clear for me about my personality is that I compartmentalise the past in order to cope. When the four guys came out uh, on daytime TV, I think it was, about sexual abuse in football, this got me back to thinking about my experience. It's the first time I'd thought about it for like, probably 45 years, it must be. For me, for me the abuse started uh, happening on the turn from associated schoolboy to becoming an, an apprentice professional. Getting through the abuse, it was what was happening. It's what was happening. And it's not anything I was able to talk to my parents about, other, other kids that I was playing with about. Why didn't I tell my parents? It must have been my fault. And I first saw my f a photograph of Eddie Heath after all those years. The abuse came back to me, and I felt that I needed to talk about it, and essentially I needed to do something about it. Society, institutions have tried to bury this issue, bury the voice. It doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. Being part of the Voice Project and various other projects has really helped me with that. I can't say that strongly enough. I feel emotional just saying that. It's been really powerful.